Hello, everybody. Do you like bubbles? Yes? I thought so. Everyone likes bubbles, but do you know what bubbles are? Why they pop? How they get their different colours? What's inside them? Well, we're going to try and answer some of those questions. Look, here's a clue about what is inside a bubble. What are you blowing down the straw? What are you whipping into the water? Yes, it's air, isn't it? Just like when you're blowing up a balloon. You're blowing air into the bubbles. But look, these bubbles float and they stay round. But these bubbles in fizzy water and fizzy drinks soon disappear. Why is that? Yes, it's all to do with soap, isn't it? Because when you add soap to water and blow bubbles, the bubbles stay very, very firm. It's because when you add soap, it forms a kind of skin round the air, trapping the air inside. And the bubbles stay bubbles for longer. We all know what it sounds like to blow up bubbles, don't we? But have you ever listened to bubbles bursting? Listen. Yes, they do make quite a noise, don't they? Often we don't really listen to things closely enough. And often we don't look at things closely enough either. Just look at these bubbles. And next time you're helping with the washing up, take a closer look. Look at the shapes. Look at the colours. These bubbles are round. But these bubbles are not round. They are all kinds of different shapes. Can you think why that is? Yes? Well, when the bubbles are separate on their own, there is nothing pushing against them. But when there are lots of bubbles, they squash each other, just like we would if we were all squashed together in a big crowd. And so they go into different shapes. And did you know that you can actually capture the shape and the colour of your bubbles on paper? Look, this is how you do it. Just blow lots and lots of bubbles into water which has soap and food colouring or paint. And then place a piece of white paper on top. Can you see the images forming? I'm not going to turn it over and show you because I want you to find out for yourself and to experiment with different colours and maybe food colouring see if that is better than paint. 
So have fun with your bubbles and maybe you can try this as well. Try carrying some bubbles on your hand around the room and maybe even outside. Do they change colour? Why do you think that is? Where do the bubbles get their colour and their little images from? That's a really fun investigation for you. So, have fun with bubbles and see if you can find some more interesting things to do yourself. Ask yourself lots of questions and try and find out the answers. So bye for now from me, Georgie. Don't forget the, with, to visit the website where you'll find lots and lots of fun art and craft and science activities. Bye now, everybody, from Jumble Fun.